New at Asham. Load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83, Manitoba's number one whiskey. Eat. Meet. Stay. Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at 1-888-33-CANAD or visit us right now at canadins.com. Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union building a brighter future together. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, and so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal, and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mbcurlmuseum. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Today's sponsor, Pharmasave, official pharmacy of Curl Manitoba. Why not? Just watch. Why not? Keep scrolling, I slide. Why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Knock Auto Corp have been pioneers as well. Why not? Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab. Custom car wraps, graphics, and auto services. Winnipeg, why not get in the lab? Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At Pharmasave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your Pharmasave pharmacist. Live well with Pharmasave. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. The kids and, and you know, even adults, they didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to our rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. We would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. Good evening. Welcome to the evening draw on uh, Wednesday for the 2024 Scotties Provincial Manitoba 
being held in Morden, Manitoba. My name's Ernie Epp. I am the uh, chair of the host committee this year, and I have the pleasure of having a guest with me today. And I am Travis Sabin. Travis is pretty humble. He's going to be, he is the uh, co-chair for the event when it happens next year in Pilot Mound. So we've got action underway already. We've got a few few rocks thrown. Um, we're watching the game between McLeod and Cameron. I'll maybe uh, take the time to introduce the McLeod team. Uh, skip is Lisa McLeod. Third, Janelle Lack. Second is, is Hallie McCannell. Lead, somebody that uh, grew up close to here, Jolene Callum. She hails from the Miami area. Fifth is Haley McFarlane and coach is Lyle Hudson. So Team McLeod's a five-person curling team based out of the Portage of the Prairie Curling Club. Uh, they've had experience at provincial and national levels, including Western Canadian University events and CIS University Nationals for women's curling and mixed curling, as well as experience competing in Olympic pre-trials and on the Grand Slam oh, curling tour, uh, both Tier 1 and Tier 2. Team McLeod earned their birth to the 24 Scotties um, through Ma the Manitoba Curling Tour points. They'd like to thank their sponsors for affording them the opportunity to play the sport they love. They look forward to representing all the generous companies who have joined as a valuable sponsor at the 2024 Scotties Tournament of Hearts in Morton. And uh, Team Cameron today is made up of Skip, Kate Cameron, third, Megan Walter, second, Taylor McDonald, and lead, Mackenzie Elias, uh, with fifth, Mackenzie Zacharias. And they play out of the East St. Paul Curling Club. Uh, their team entails a triumph of accomplishments, including meddling at world and national levels. Uh, this season, Team Cameron has had early success capturing quarter, semi, and finalist finishes, as well as an event win at the Morris Icebreaker Challenge earlier this year. Uh, those results have got them invitations to participate in all of the Grand Slam uh, Curling Tour events, where they've competed, competed among all the top teams in the world. Uh, they've not had their success without amazing sponsors. They would like to recognize Nissan, Axum Mortgage Solutions, DMM Energy, uh, Dokes Bulk Fuel, partnered with Esso, Peace Hills Insurance, Beaver Construction, Access Storage, Curtis Carpets, Candace Seminick Realtor, Hardline, and of course, Ashram Curling Supplies. Yeah, so it was kind of neat. Uh, uh, just last weekend, there was a curling t uh, Grand Slam of Curling uh, event taking place, and I know that Kate Cameron's team was there, as was uh, Caitlin Laws. So at least two teams uh, in the event here in Manitoba um, this weekend or this week and weekend that uh, that played in one of the Grand Slams just recently. Yeah, both teams, uh, you know, have always represented very well, and they're very very competitive, and we expect to see them uh, on the weekend as well. So uh, we look forward to a good game here between them and Lisa McLeod. For sure. So we're about halfway through the end here, and we've got uh, one of each. Uh, color biting the tw uh, 12 foot in the front area. Yeah, it's a pretty wide open end to, uh, to begin here, but... Fairly typical for uh, first end in competitive curling, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. And Kate Cameron does have the hammer here playing the first end, uh, throwing the red rocks. And currently lying too, so I think she's pretty happy. Got it. Are we rolling big? Okay, yeah. you got it. Yeah, right Here's now the there's stick. not really a not a real easy double available hmm. for McLeod. Lean. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. It's good. I didn't see the call here earlier. Yeah. Would it just a normal hit? Or are they trying I to think roll? So. I don't know. They're trying to roll in behind, but it's uh, over curled a little bit. Getting them closer together though. Absolutely. Giving themselves a shot at uh, double next time if, if they, they need. Kate's team will try and uh, roll to the side in order to prevent the double from happening possibly later on in the end. Yeah, got a little bit, not as much as they probably wanted. 
still pretty flat if uh, someone's looking to throw a double here. I'll be into it. Yeah. Figured, I like normal up. Figured it was maybe a little too flat for that double. Well, it doesn't have to push it too far out of the way, though, just just to push it out of the rings, hitting deal. the center line one first and rolling that way. Three quarters. You got it. So we've got a pretty good crowd here again this evening. Nice to see lots of people who coming out to watch the curling. Yeah, the opening ceremonies, there's definitely lots of people, and the crowds all day have been great. So I'm sure you guys are, are very happy with the, the crowd so far. We are. Yeah, that's a great shot. Yeah. Exactly what they called. Execution is 100%. So, Travis, you and I have known each other now for, I don't know, six hours, seven hours, maybe, yeah. something like that? Yep, that's exactly right, Ernie. Yeah. Travis came out to uh, Morden because uh, they're hosting in Pilot Mound next year, and uh, so we were talking and uh, and uh, providing some, some um, perspective on how things have gone so far, what we've done that uh, we certainly would do again, what we might change a little bit if we had the opportunity. And then we start talking and... Uh, realize that uh, the two of us both grew up in Boisvane. Yeah, it's a, it's a small world, especially in uh, <laughs> rural Manitoba. You never know where you're going to run into somebody or know where they're from, right? So Yeah, except the one thing with Travis is he's uh, about a generation and something younger than me, so uh, his dad taught me yeah. in school, but uh, I don't know that I recall Travis other than maybe when he was a, just a little kid and I was leaving town because I'd, I'd graduated and needed to see the big world. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Through the middle, I realized that it might be a little different. We both gravitated or well, sort of like stayed back in uh, southern Manitoba, though. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've done a little competitive yeah, curling like yourself, feet, right? You uh, yes, I have. Yeah, okay. I've uh, played yeah. competitive for a few years, I guess, and actually stepped yeah. away this year, but so that's zeros. okay. And still cheering on my former team, okay. that's for sure. Like maybe ball. something about kids? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As we get older, our priorities change, but that's okay. So it looks like she's just drawing to the open side here. Line's good. T line. Eight. Not Holding. Moving Not moving. There it goes. Okay, Easy. Curl. Easy. Oh. Back four is good. Oh, oh. It's a pretty conservative, safe play, just drawing to the open side <laughs> instead of trying to go around the, <laughs> the corner guard there. Really and good, like, into the house. Yeah, trying to prevent the other team from getting a double, or getting two, perhaps. It's always easier to be a, to be a commentator, and I know this from wealth of experience because I've done this once once before. But uh, it's nice nice to have a bunch of rocks in play, and you get to talk about a little bit of uh, wow, what could we do? Is is this the shot to make, or is it that one? So here it's pretty simple. Let's take out the yellow. Yeah. So whoa, Kate's electing whoa, the intern whoa. here, uh, coming whoa, towards us. Nice quiet wait, hoping to stick around. Looks like it should just hang on. Yep, you bet. Yeah. Nice little outside biter. Yeah, and Team McLeod's taking uh, the opposite turn. So they're throwing my in turn for a lefty, Yours which is nice here. most people's out turn. Everything's curling up a bit, but not. Probably a little bit of preference. Nothing crazy so far. Normal. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody has that preference of which turn they would prefer to throw. I'd share which was mine, but uh, some of the guys I curl against on Tuesday nights might might be listening in. <laughs> this one's really, really curling, and yeah, they just roll out. So 
Probably going to have a blank end. It'll be a unless pretty easy blank, I think, for Kate. But is she going to attempt to play the tick for two? Not an easy shot. Okay, so it's going to come off this one. Really one two thirds? Yeah. Do you like trying it? Two thirds. I'm seeing so that. it looks like they yeah. are going to elect to play the tick. And uh, the split, I should say, not the tick, but yeah. me. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of those um, one of those new rules for this year is that uh, you know you can't tick rocks off the center line for the first few uh, first few throws in the three three guard zone. I have not played that that process yet, so no, I have not either. So it is uh, definitely different, which was really good because I was not a good ticker. <laughs> We'll see how this split works. Low line. No. So she's trying to come across the face and she is, yeah. Uh, and with And unfortunately just overgrows a little bit and she is forced to take her one. Yep. Wow. Well. Just from the comments, it sounds like it's heavy. All right, so we've got uh, one for Team Cameron. We will be back in a couple minutes. Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union. Building a brighter future together. New at Asham, the Shore Glide Delivery Aid. Precision, stability, and style all in one. Available with or without Broom Caddy. With its durable design, it's built to last season after season. Check out our website at asham.com. Why not? Just watch. Why not? Keep scrolling, I slide. Why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Not Auto Corp have been pioneers as well. Why not? Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab. Custom car wraps, graphics, and auto why services. Not? Winnipeg, why not get in the lab? RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. And welcome back. Um, just to give you a quick update on Sheet C, we got Jolene Campbell playing Tiffany Armstrong. And in the first end, uh, Jolene Campbell with a steal of three. And on Sheet A, we have Team Katz versus Team Tarek. And Team Tarek uh, got one in the first end there. So just to give you a little update on the other sheets. Yeah, so we've got one rock played so far uh, this end. Cameron's team, the uh, the first lead stone has gone to the back 12. And we'll see the corner guard here from Haley McFarland. Fault there, fault there. Yeah, it's a little different than league cur league curling, or uh, where you know there are teams that okay. they go after that back rock because it's in the house. We need to get rid of it. Absolutely. But you don't. Yeah, absolutely. I think both these teams will take advantage of the corner guards when they they get the chance and. Try and score multiple points. Okay. There we go. Got a corner guard. Open for a center. Sorry, I said I was going to leave it to you guys on a kick with Max. So I was like, yeah. I did curl nicely there too. Like As you can see, there's uh, lots of ice when you're playing on Arena of Ice. There's, with these great ice makers, they make such good curl in the yeah, ice and it's so consistent uh, all the time um, it, it's very different than club curling ice usually yep. you know there are some some fantastic so ice makers like out there but these guys just the ice is always spectacular right it is it's uh you know it almost makes me want to become a competitive curler just so i can curl on this stuff uh, again i've done it once i did it uh, monday night and it was a lot of fun so might be past my my due date though ah, you never know <laughs> a life game well and that was one of the things with the uh, opening ceremonies you know we had the ceremonial first rock throw and uh, clean. Yep, clean. 
Lynn Sandercock was the, was the uh, curler from Morden that uh, was given that privilege. You know, and I, I mean, I know Lynn, and, and I know that she's curled a lot, but I, I, you know, they talked about the things that she's accomplished in her career, and uh, it's amazing. You know, she, is, she has been in the most uh, provincial championships for any female uh, ever in Manitoba. Yeah, 50 provincial championships in, in all the different uh, categories, so that is quite the accomplishment. It's, you know... <coughs> Some people may think it's easy to get to a provincial championship, but it's it's not, and you know, amazing, amazing yeah. career. Well, and she's such a humble individual. I, uh, you know, like she ne she never talks about that stuff. Right. I'm trying to roll to the center line, cover that one up back twelve a little bit, but more or less a nose hit. I know. What are we doing? Yeah, looks like they're going to use that guard that just got created. Yeah, right, right at the stick here. I think this will curl. Yeah, speed's nice. Hey, Lee's throwing her in turn here, trying to bury this in the top four foot. And it's yep. close. Line. Yes, line. Yeah, line. We're top yes, eight. Line. Top eight. Sweepers were on it right out of her hand in order to yep, yep, yep. keep the line straight. And Looks like it's yeah. just going to over curl. Great weight. That would have been a terrific shot. Just didn't quite get by. So, Scotty's is a pretty nice thing to have in a community. When's, uh, when's it taking place in Pile of Mound next year? Uh, January 22nd to 26th is uh, so more or less, uh, you know, exactly a year from now. So we're uh, we're getting ready and we're getting excited. You know, having it this close is is great for us. You know, we can come down and see what uh, what to do and get some ideas from you guys and look forward to it. Happy to have you here. You know, I think that's one of the uh, one of the nice things about the curling community. You know, we, last year it was in East St. Paul. We went. There were three of us that went there last year, and uh, the reception that we had from that organizing committee was was tremendous. So I hope that we've accomplished the same here for you. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I was able to come today, and there's a couple other uh, um, committee people that are here today as well, and we have some coming all throughout the week. So um, you know just one person doesn't see it all and you know you, you can make notes and you can talk to people but everybody's got a different opinion so yeah we're we're really thankful and you guys have been great hosts and encourage everybody to come on down and, and watch it in person because it's way better in person that's for sure you can make up your own commentary then oh that's a oh. very great good shot that's terrific Only downside of uh, of uh, how things are set up there is there's two reds up front that uh, that can be bumped forward if need be, but trying to draw first. Yeah, the only bad part is it went back four, so there is still room to freeze on top of it, and you know I would expect Megan to be pretty close here, good, making this just following that path that she just saw. And pretty much uh, perfect. Just needed to curl maybe a touch more, but it's it's a great shot. Pretty much frozen right on the yellow. So it might, might just come down to a drawing game here. This is the kind of game I like watching. Uh, lots of rocks and plays. More fun. Well, and you can just see some of the some of the skips. They um, they've got that ability to sort of see Close. three or four I shots ahead and, and figure out how they're going to get out of this eventually. Well, I, I think in a situation like this, it's where where do you take the chance to get out of it, or or do you just keep going aggressive for it, right? Yep. That's a good shot too, though. 
Yep, that's that's in a really good position. That takes away the takes away the run and. The nice part was she threw it to the sweepers, right? She gave him a yep. gave him a chance to get it there. You throw it too heavy, doesn't curl, you're you're in trouble. So. You know, one of the things I really appreciate about uh, about playing in an arena like this is the the ability to communicate from one end to the other. And down in, when you get into into uh, curling clubs, that's not always there. It's it's kind of noisy in those buildings. Here, there's a little more capacity, a little more space, and uh, you know, it's nice and quiet. They can they can hear each other. Well, and I think that's the the great part about the the Scotties is you know three sheets, right? So you don't have you know the the XX noise or stuff like that, but yeah, the the open space. There's no echoing or anything like that. Good, that's good. And there's another great shot. Good curling. I figured there would be. Yeah, I, this will be a very <laughs> tight game, I think, all the way through. So, 2025 Pilot Mound. You know, we, here we are in Morden. We've got uh, we've got a couple hundred volunteers. We, you know, really asked for those individuals um, later last year. You were telling me that you've already got a long list of uh, people who have signed up for that. Yeah, we just came out a couple uh, couple weeks ago, I guess, for looking for volunteers, and you know, our um, local area has been fantastic. You know, we got we got about 60 volunteers already signed up for for next year. And uh, you know, but we know it takes a, we takes a lot of volunteers, right? You, you know, whether you're able to work one shift or four shifts, it's it takes a lot. Uh, so we know they're gonna more and more are gonna come in and mm -hmm. looking forward to. It. Yeah, well, that's that's great. I mean, to have 60 people already step forward, and you're still a year away. Yeah. Tremendous to have Even that. I think that speaks uh, speaks for okay, Pilot Mound really and the community to there too. The just to just like in yeah, Morton, you know, it's, uh, I think so. I think communities that uh, where where, yeah. where people but want to see this type nope. of thing happen and where they live and yep. and are happy to uh, contribute to help make those things happen. Yeah, I, th I think um, you know smaller areas and have a, a great volunteer base, and that's not a. It's definitely not a shot at any cities or anything like that because they have lots of volunteers that do a lot of stuff as well. But your your smaller venues do get quite a few volunteers, and you know they're used to it, right? So, well, and you're smaller because you know we're over nine thousand people, and you're we're under a thousand. Under so, a thousand, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we definitely are smaller. That's for sure. But uh, you know, I like to think that everybody's gonna pitch in and help out and. Really make it a good event. Well, having curled in Pilot Mound in uh, in your hey, Millennium Bond Spiel, that keeps keeps or kept going. Is it still going? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's still going. yeah every year, the uh, start of April. It seems like the entire community is in that building volunteering for that event. We do we do have lots of uh, it's our one big fun spiel all year. So get a hair rub off if you can. Anything Ken's, anything Ken's. A little bit light on that one. Well, what's an option here? Like, trying to run something in there, I think. But risk versus reward. Yeah, this is one of those ends where uh, that thinking time starts to start to get eaten up a little bit because they got to figure out what's the best option because there's a bunch of them. Yeah, and again, you know, she does have the hammer, but what? Uh, I don't know what the right option is here. Running something back, hoping to uh, get that yellow that's uh, already biting the button to be the shot rock and maybe even uh, have a couple of yellows by the time all the granite gets moved around. Yeah, if she hits it right on the nose, she might be able to get the one just biting top four foot uh, and kill those and leave a few yellows in there, so... Kate would have to be careful on her last one, otherwise it could be a big end. And right now it looks so safe. 
your version of safe and my version are a little different there. <laughs> Hold them yeah. on right away. Close. Oh. Yeah. Got them shot. Yeah. Got them shot, and now we'll see what uh, what Kate decides to do here. Yeah, that's not a bad shot because Kate uh, does not have uh, the opportunity to, to run one of her red ones up from the front for up because they're both half covered. Maybe the one on the left. If I knows it and I clip the five, does it matter? Probably not. Yeah. Right? Like it's not killing us. I'm only playing like a mm -hmm. ten and a half. Yeah. So I think we want to try to. No, you got to get under because if you knows it, they have a nose double right back. Yeah. No, you have no, to get no, I know. Under. I think this is the miss. Like, you got to get right under there because they can't tap this for more than just one or two, yep. right? Because this is always never going to outcount that guy. Okay. There. 10 5. Yeah. Sounds like they're running the yellow into the yellow and hoping to. Three quarters. Well, I think she's just going to try and hit and roll under, hit oh, and yeah. roll right to the center line and, and bury it so that she five, has a tougher low. shot at, at two. Nose isn't the worst, but it would give her a double for potentially... Side, you could be think it'll finish up the in trouble to give up a possibly a three, but a little inside roll here. Feels true now. Not throwing it super hard, just throwing nice, easy control weight. In order to get a little bit of curl. That's a good shot. Yeah, it's about a half half buried there, so I don't think there is a a run back or anything like that. Can she get second shot by drawing? Oh, can she get second shot by drawing in there? Can you even draw in there? Not an easy shot. I think that's. Are they? Yeah, I don't know if like that's a. Here, you're are they like looking here, at the hit and yeah. roll off the? The one on yeah, the side on the tee line. Like that, it's either the top or, just or above this the to get two, So. I don't think there's danger here With either. Big weight. No, I agree. Hit three quarters high side. Just like bumper. I no, you know what? I don't even. Yeah, because you have to move this. So. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you're seeing, Lisa. Okay. Looking at angling Bump. their uh, yellow guard out on the yeah. side so. in at yeah, about just, a 45 yeah. degree yeah. angle or so. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm so hitting like a thin half, like a third. On, on to their own to tap the other red back a little bit? Or uh, maybe, okay. yeah. Because they almost, would almost have to move that one a little bit to get second shot. I think so. This could be interesting. Just try to, because we got to move it. There's no room to draw there. It's a bumper. Just, I don't want to kill ours out of there. We are hitting about a third. Okay, so the good part is it's pretty tough to hurt herself, I think, with this shot. I agree. It's called for bumper Whoa. weight. Yep. Saying it's a little down. Yep, yep. You know, when there's disagreement, it's close. Oh, okay. had to curl hair. Okay. Was a good effort. So, yeah, one, uh, one yellow for Lisa McLeod to tie up the score. Heading to the third end. Today's sponsor, PharmaSave, official pharmacy of Crow, Manitoba. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. 
It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83, Manitoba's number one whiskey. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, and so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Welcome back to this evening's draw between uh, Kate Cameron and Team McLeod. And just to update you on the other scores on sheet A, it was uh, Rachel Katz uh, with a score of four against uh, Team Tarek. And over on sheet C, there was a blank end between Jolene Campbell and Tiffany Armstrong with Armstrong holding the hammer, playing the third end. Yeah, that, uh, that four score on the A sheet uh, kind of changes that dynamic. They're up 4-1 now. All right, so we got one uh, bite in the top four, and we've got we got a guard just uh, just biting the center line. Game on for uh, the third end. Yeah, the guard is is biting the center line, so it's not able to be ticked at all. Um, and then uh, Team Cameron made a nice come around to just bite the top four, almost fully buried. So puts the pressure back on uh, Team McLeod. Not quite enough curl, hair too much weight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, uh, you know, the outside of the sheet there, I think they weren't sure how much it was going to curl there, and just a touch too heavy in order for it to not to make that perfect freeze. So I suspect there'll be a lighter weight shot and try and get that roll under to really put the pressure on. For sure. So you talked before about Pilot Mound being under a, a thousand population, and I know earlier today you were mentioning how um, you got a lot of snowbirds in that area. So you know, sixty volunteers is probably up maybe all that's left. Oh no, we got we got <laughs> lots of lots of people still left. But yeah, we definitely do have some people that uh, decide to head south for the winter and uh, you know escape our cold winters, but. We can't really complain about this year's winter. It's been pretty fantastic other than the past couple of weeks, but looks like it's on the bright side again. Yeah, having, uh, having plus temperatures sometimes isn't the best of things for uh, for when you got curling in an arena like this, but we're going to hopefully get through this without uh, any impact negatively. Yeah, no, and, and for the roads and people traveling, lots of people... Lots of spectators traveling to these events, right? So you, you want the roads to be good and not uh, not cause any accidents or anything like that. But yeah, I don't think we really need those plus temperatures. You know, minus 10, it can stay like that for a little while. It would be just fine. Yeah, I know uh, I do a fair amount of driving in winter, well, year round, and uh, I'd, I'd prefer minus 10 and roads don't get icy typically when it's minus 10. Get a little bit of uh, close to zero and wind starts blowing snow around and next thing you've got icy roads. So we don't have that and we've got lots of roads, highways that come to, towards Morton. So feel free to pick one, head on down, watch this stuff in person. Absolutely. You know, this is this is the place to be this week. It's, you know, the crowds are going to be great. There's going to be great shot making and, uh, you know, there's lots of friendly staff here. So almost about half buried. Lisa's gonna try the bumper weight hit and try and roll under and put some pressure back on uh, Kate Cameron's team here. Well, and it's so uh, it's so interesting to watch the curl. I mean, they can miss that yellow guard by inches and uh, and still get an inside roll. Yeah, you have to be really committed to the curl, like, and and believe that it's gonna curl. And all these these teams have. A are full of experience and you know playing in big events and playing on this ice they're they're used to it so they, they know that it's going to curl right so but in in that 
case there, you know, a little little heavy. It didn't quite catch yep. the curl, right? Which makes a big difference. Yeah, that was a little more like board and uh, probably needed hack or just a hair less to, to make that roll that they were hoping to get. Still a good shot. And lots of play with this intern coming coming this way and everybody's following it and this one's catching the curl pretty quickly. But good sweeping, kept it right there and it's good to go. So I think we are pretty lucky here in Morden. We've got the Access Event Center. We've got uh, curling uh, sorry, in a, a skating arena that's been turned into a curling rink. We've still got another skating arena where hockey can continue during this uh, this week. We've got a nice big uh, hall that uh, we're using as what people refer to as the patch, or uh, we've called the uh, the hog line. And we've got some extra rooms for all these other little needs that we have. So uh, what's your facility like? Um, you know what? Uh, our Pilot Mountain Millennium Complex was uh, was built by volunteers. To be honest with you, um, it was an old recreation or hydro station up in Sundance um, that a bunch of volunteers went up, took down, and brought down, and we built it into a a skating rink, a curling rink, a daycare, a movie theater. Uh, we got a baseball dugout there. Um, you know, we got lots going on so it's a museum as well and of course we have the pilot mound hockey academy as well that's that plays out of there so we have lots of things going on in our uh, facility it, you know it took a while to build but it was built by volunteers and uh you know close to 10 years but well worth it you know um it, it's it's pretty amazing when you actually see it I would agree. I've, I've, like I mentioned earlier, I've curled in it, uh, and I've, I've been through it and seen, uh, you know, seen the hard. Yeah, I mean, it, I can only be a thousands and thousands of hours that it took to 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 tear that building down and bring it piece by piece and and uh, put them all back in the right spot so that it fit together nicely. It's, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, the community of Pilot Mound considers it a pretty big treasure. Oh, absolutely. You know, and it's, it's huge for our community. Like I said, you I just listed off the the necessities that are in it, and uh, it's, it's busy every day. You know, daycare is full, and, you know, we got lots of minor hockey teams going on and stuff like that. So it's it, it's very busy, but, yes, the, the town definitely takes pride in that uh, that building. As they should. Kind of wide open here. They're just going to exchange hits. Uh, Cameron hoping to hit and stick to bring their deuce into play. Um, it's not nothing set up for a double at the moment, but Kate knows her angles. <laughs> I don't, don't think it is in though. The yellow looks like it is just out, so brings the brings the blank black back into play for Cameron, which I'm sure in the odd end they're okay with. We don't have to play this cute at all. Like just we do want to stick around, but it shouldn't be close to the bar because they don't have it all. So just like a ten. So back to the back to this end turn that they were yeah. playing to begin the the end and you know they've seen enough rocks here they know it's yeah, a nice curl and but there is still a little bit of room to get under the guard. Janelle with the directional sweep in order to try and get the rock to curl more. And it just oh, almost spun I back think. in, but I don't think so. No, they're not looking at it. I don't think it's in. 
<laughs> so Kate's going to take this opportunity to try and draw around the center guard and uh, create a skips deuce. Something good skips it can do. So you call your building the Millennium Center. Is that the year that it opened? Was 2000? So that was the year it got started. Uh, okay. It got started in the year 2000, and uh, it opened in 2009, uh, April of 2009, I do believe. So. Kate looks like she's got this one pretty much perfect. Uh, it's going to force Lisa to play the run back. So a millennium project that uh, you had 993 years to spare, or 991 years to spare, or something like that? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got it. Normal? No, peel. Okay. Okay, we got to run back coming, just like you said. Switch turns. That guard's not too far out, so it's okay. not a peel. tremendous distance to travel to get that, clip that red one or stick. Janelle trying to get it to curl in order to make the nose hit, which it doesn't quite curl. So we'll leave Kate the same draw for uh, for the skips deuce. So she's taking the same path as she did on the first one. So Travis, you called it. Blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. Well, I was going to say, Team McLeod might not be too happy with you unless you start calling calling scores for some scores for them too. Well, I, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Wide open draw. Just needs to bite bite the twelve foot. She's got her deuce. Looks pretty close. Yeah, she's right on the other red one, so no problem. Pretty much the exact same weight. Yeah. And just like that. Two for Kate Cameron to go up 3-1 after three ends of play. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Eat. Meat. Stay. Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at 1-888-33-CANAD or visit us right now at canadins.com. And welcome back. Uh, just to give a quick update on the other scores on sheet A, uh, Zoe Tarek's team uh, drew to the four foot for one to be down four two, playing the fourth end. 
And over on sheet C, uh, we had Tiffany Armstrong also pick up one uh, to go down 3-1, playing the fourth end as well. Yes. All right, and we've got a 3-1 score on our sheet. Team Cameron ahead of McLeod. Second rock is heading down the ice. Sorry, let me rephrase that. That's first rock. And once again, just uh, slid behind the T-line. Yeah, so now you'll see uh, Team McLeod throw up the corner guard, um, just like we did in the second end. As again, they will want to okay. okay. counter and get their deuce. Again, right on the, just past the logo there, and nice, nice tight corner guard uh, to be able to use for later on. So you talked about curling competitively, and I'm guessing if that's the case, then uh, you probably didn't follow your dad's career path of being a teacher. I did not. No, that was uh, too much schooling for me. <laughs> and, I, and I'm married to a teacher, so I guess I kind of oh. I get it enough as it is, right? So, nope. I know, uh, you know, he didn't get to do as much competitive curling as he would have liked being a teacher, but, you know, that's the priorities that you make. Oh, just came in to bite. Look. Do you like coming around? A little discussion here between... Not really. Uh, Haley McFarland and Lisa McLeod. And what kind of weight, sorry? Just control. Lisa's okay. wanting to hit it, and, and the rest of the team was maybe thinking just to draw around, but the skip wins in this situation. and They always seem to. Nah, good to have that conversation. Look at the options. I think some, sometimes for the... Uh, Lead second and third is not necessarily understanding what the what the skips think in longer term to that end, and sometimes they've got a game plan that's hard to communicate that whole thing um, from one one end of the sheet to the other. So yeah, just the the nose hit and leaves it on the center line guard. So Kate's calling for the out turn. Uh, out turn draw right to the top four foot and kind of get in a little bit better position than the, the one that's there right now. Nicely, yeah. per perfect weight, and uh, yeah, exactly where Kate was looking for it. I don't think you can outscore that one. Nope. That looks like it's pretty well perfectly on the on the button. Now you see, Team McLeod is actually going to take the intern here and play the different the other side of the sheet. Uh, I guess is that a skip's preference or is that a player preference, do you think, like for who's throwing it? Yeah, well, I mean, they've got a guard uh, off to the further left, so uh, heading this way, maybe they're thinking a little longer term that they've got an opportunity to, to do a little bit of a hit and roll the shooter over behind and still uh, maybe even lie a couple, potentially. Not necessarily with that shot, though. No, just a little heavy, so she did wick off it, but it is wide open. Um, will, will Kate play it, or will she just uh, ignore it and throw the draw? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking take out. Yep. Don't know that I'd be comfortable leaving it there. But I'm just a lowly third. Hey, well, I'm a, I was a lead, so, you know. I didn't, I didn't have much say on my team, that's for sure. So, <laughs> no, no, you're old. Carry the brooms and uh, throw your throw your rocks and sweep. So, I left that critical thinking to the back end. 
Well, she's got it. Got a bit of roll, I think. Nope, no roll. Oh, yeah, there it is. She's in behind. So I would... Still just slightly behind the T line, so there is room to, to get there. She is uh, attempting the same shot that she just tried with a little less weight and freeze right on it. She just threw it, so I fully expect her to be pretty close. Sweepers are saying it's a little late. And they're on it right out of her hand. It definitely is curling quite a bit more, but yeah. let's do it at a less weight, right? So. I think Kate's enjoying this end so far. Yeah, they're set up uh, set up pretty well here. You know, without the hammer, still in still in really good shape. And if Megan makes this one top eight foot, you know, half buried, it'll be really uh, really good shape. Okay. Also, again, little little light, but. Also takes away the the possible peel that they were talking about before, but Lisa's still going to play it. Try and run something back in there and move some granite. Yeah, I think they pretty well need to now. Great oh, shot. That's, that's pretty good. I'd take that. Yep. That is a great shot. And that's how the ends can change pretty quickly in competitive curling, right? One good shot to bail you out. And you know, and for someone who hasn't curled a lot, that probably looks like it's not that difficult. But <laughs> that's a, that was a hard shot. It definitely was. It does help on, on this great ice that uh, the ice makers have made uh, you know you throw the up weight the rocks stay pretty straight so it's just the consistency and you know with both these teams of course they practice a ton right so yeah okay. and there's a great shot by megan walter freeze right on top so for sure now team mcleod's got to try and figure out how do we uh how do we get a second one in there how do we set things up so we can get a second one in there at some point this end yet? Well, and that's that's the thing. If she does, if she does come to it and doesn't put it perfectly, then you know it sets up Team Cameron for. We know Kate can throw her pretty hard and also move some granite. I didn't see the exact call here, Ernie. What are what are they playing? I think they're, they're they're trying to come in, but I don't think I don't think right up to it, but but uh, something they can use that's uh, fairly close. The line looks really good, but I don't know if they were hoping to come that deep, but it did chink off a little bit. Yeah, not not. I mean, a little bit heavy. Not uh, quite sure what they were hoping, or not quite what they were hoping for. Interesting end. Yeah. You know, that's one of the things about curling is uh, there's there's other sports where it's pretty straightforward. You know, you do the same thing over and over again. You know, curling every end is most ends. You know, once you've got a few rocks in play, chances of you having played that end before in your life is pretty slim. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, that is definitely the uniqueness of, of curling. You do get uh, multiple chances at uh, different ends. And it, 
you know, if you see skips sometimes sit there and scratch their head and try and figure out. And, but, you know, experienced skips like these, they, they're planning ahead. You know, they're going to have in their mind what they're going to play with their last one. For sure. So, I mean, you've been elite. You've, uh, you've curled competitively. The people that haven't curled a whole lot, they uh, look at these uh, sticks that they use to, to sweep and... You know, that brushing looks like it's pretty easy. It's not. It's yeah. definitely not. Um, you know, the the brooms are so light and it, they've come so far in, you know, a quick period of time. It's it's not that easy. And anybody that's an athlete and who's never tried it, you know, I've had guys that are very athletic go and try it and they're like, that's hard. It's, yeah, it's not as easy as it looks, that's for sure. I would I would agree. Kate's throwing the big weight. She's old. Oh, well, Just so misses catching the other yellow. But yeah, still a good shot. Yeah, you talk about that sweeping being being uh, difficult. I know I've cur I've curled with some uh, guys who were really good hockey players, and uh, they got out on this ice and went, "Wow, I never I never understood this game. I didn't think it was that difficult." So. You need that recovery time for the other when the other team throws the rock so you can catch your breath again. Yeah, you definitely and and you use different muscles than yeah. you know other sports, right? And you think oh it's the same muscles, but it's not. It's definitely different muscles than than you're used to. Or here, like she's gonna have it all day. I think this is just so natural. I don't want to leave it for her to play. Okay, yeah. If you ever don't make this perfect, then we're kind of hooped. Yeah, right. Okay. So yeah, McLeod's lying like one right now, but uh, uh, right not an like easy scenario in like order to yeah. get two. Yeah, it looks like she's yeah, going to throw a guard and, and block the opportunity yeah. for the Cameron team to push things back without pushing a yellow forward. Interesting. Well, she's got the hammer, so here too. Trying to set something up to give herself a chance for that second point. Hoping that the uh, first one sticks around after uh, Kate Cameron's finished her throwing. Yeah, blocking blocking that hole with the intern draw. Um, just a kind of a tight guard, some similar to where we saw it right off the right off the hop, actually. And uh, then let Kate decide what she wants to do if she wants to block it off or if she wants to yep, take the risk. All right, now if you're Kate, try to set it up so that she can't, get, so that McLeod can't get two or uh, you're still trying to get in there and make your shot, your rock the shot stone. Well, I think if if it's me, I think I'm I'm just trying to hold her to one, block it off, don't give her a shot for two, and you know which I know is always easier said than done because there's lots of options out there. There's a couple of different runbacks, but or she could yeah, if she plays that angle run. Finn Haas. Yeah, They're just discussing yeah. all their different options here and to see what, uh, what they decide. I think so. Yeah, there it looks like they're going to try this. These are the fun shots. Absolutely. These are, these are the ones to, that I enjoy watching, <laughs> especially when they're made. Yeah. And they're huge uh, momentum swings. You know, if, if she makes this, she can fly four and. You know, Team McLeod will have a very tough draw for their one. For sure. Yeah, I, you know, and I, I've, I've been in games where uh, you think you've got it locked up and then all of a sudden they, the other skip pulls one of these out of the back pocket and you, it, pretty deflating. 
<laughs> it, it is deflating, but you got to give them kudos when they make them. So. Abs- yeah, oh yeah, for yeah, that's that's uh, that's absolutely correct. And teams like this, they make them a lot more often than uh, than those that just play once a week in the league. It's very close, but just need to curl a little bit more. And now that does open up the draw for two. It does. You know, a little piece of the button and for the draw for two to tie it up. Not easy, but it can be done. Oh, they're actually going the other way. They're going the intern. Okay, do you want to take a hair extra? It just, it's yeah, for me it's an outturn. Sure. Sure. Fair enough. Do you like the size, Lisa? <laughs> yeah, going, going the intern yeah, here. No, there, is no, there is no backing, but... You guys know the speed on this side better, and I think there's a little more room. It seems like it. Sounds like a good philosophy. Okay, we can afford to, like, rub off one of them, too, if we're, like, in the button area. So right-handers in turn. Draw to the button. Line's good, just T. Draw for a piece of the button to, to try and get her deuce and tie up the game. They're on off, on off, so it's pretty close. Got a sit. Line's oh. good and it just goes a touch too far so it'll just be <coughs> one for team Lisa McLeod and it'll be 3-2 for Kate Cameron with the hammer heading to the fifth today's sponsor Sunrise Credit Union building a brighter future together If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. The kids and you know even adults, they didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to our rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. We would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. New at Asham, the Helix Flyknit and Express Ultralight, featuring our rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro. Quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. All right, we are back and uh, leave it to Tristan to give us the score updates. Uh, yeah, over on sheet A, uh, it was Team Katz uh, picking up their single point to lead 5-2 over Team Tarek, and over on Sheet C, it was uh, Jolene Campbell picking up two to go up 5-1 on Tiffany Armstrong. And here the guard just slid just into the rings um, to allow Kate Cameron to attempt the nose hit and, and get their center guard up. So. Yeah, so the uh, game that has the closest score is the one that we get to watch. Yeah, both these teams have been playing pretty well and, uh, you know, lots of rocks in play the past couple ends, so makes things uh, exciting for you guys at home to watch. Or wherever you may be watching, I shouldn't say at home, because, yeah. you, but nothing, nothing beats coming down here and watching it in person. You just... Get to interact and, you know, great curling and uh, beautiful facility. It's decorated beautifully with with all the hard work of the volunteers here. So definitely recommend coming down and checking it out in person. 
Well, and when you might not be able to do it today yet, but uh, there's a couple that I met when I was in East St. Paul last year that uh, talked about making, they were going to be here this year, and sure enough, there you are. I uh, spent one one, ex, one full day in East St. Paul watching curling and uh, got to sit near them and got to know them a bit, so they're probably heading your way next year too. Perfect. Oh. And that's that's the great thing about curling. You know, you got lots of fans that, uh, that do travel around and watch it. It doesn't matter where it is. Uh, you know, whether it's the whether it's the fan clubs or whether it's just you know people that love the game, love the roaring game. Yep, lots of followers, always good. Team Cameron's really got that uh, intern draw around the center guard down pat. Um, looks like they're reading the ice pretty well and. Got the end set up again. Wait sounds good. It's running a little straight because it's a little heavier. The weight, weight was perfect. It just, uh, and look at that late finish, eh? Like that almost hit the, the guard that it's just about in the rings and ends up on the button. Like, again, ace makers here, they just make it so well. Fun to watch, fun to play on. Sometimes frustrating to play on because, uh, you know, those of us who don't curl in this regularly, we throw a pretty lazy spin on the rock compared to what you need to do on this ice. Yeah, definitely on this arena ice, you do have to throw some rotation and and you can see the teams that uh, that have played on this ice and are used to it, you know, look at this rock coming down, it's, you know, two and a half, three rotations and the more spin, the straighter it is, but it will it will curl with the proper weight as well. So didn't quite get the roll that they were hoping for, but So it's nice to see some uh, some younger kids in the audience today, this e this evening. We um, had the opening ceremonies, and uh, you know, I, one of the things that I think is really important is uh, getting the youth, young curlers involved in in an event like this when you can. So all of the individuals that were carrying the team's names on uh, signs, you know, they were eight to ten year olds for the most part, and uh, ones that have have uh, started doing a little bit of curling. And you know, my hope would be that uh, that, that some of those uh, younger girls uh, remember this experience and look at this and go like, I want to be one of them. Oh, absolutely. You know, and and I think the the curlers do a great job of that, of you know, entertaining them and you know, talking to them and keeping the grassroots going. Um, that's that's where it is, and you know, it's. It's down some from previous years, but I think we do have a good uh, grassroots coming up for sure. So I'm sure Morden has a very good uh, junior curling program here. And well, I don't know if we had a chance to talk about that today, you and I, at least, that uh, we've got our under-18 boys that are heading to nationals. You know, that's a great, uh, great opportunity for them. They're all of the age that... Uh, things go as well next year as they did this year they could head back there again next year yet too so wow that's that's amazing it is and it's it's great to see and of course we have one rink competing here that is heading to nationals as well uh you know next week so the hayward rink from carmen um you know who won their won their u18 as well so i know they're came here for some experience and you know Played, played two of the top teams today, but uh, came out with a one-on-one -on -one record. So yeah. uh, it's got to give some some confidence going into the week for sure. Uh, there, I'm I'm sure they are pretty darn excited with uh, with that first day. Had a tough had a tough first game against Laws, but uh, you know, and and uh, pulled out pulled out a W, and I think it was against Peterson, wasn't it? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. So. One of the things you're going to find out next year is that uh, it's probably good to do this commentating because that's the, about the only time you actually get to watch curling. Well, like I said, I 
got here this afternoon and, you know, we chatted for three, three and a half hours and didn't really get to watch any, which that's okay. There'll be lots to watch. Oh, and there's a good shot by Megan Walter to just paper the guard and get, get a quarter buried. Gonna try for a hit and roll here. Get in behind their own. Yeah, or she could even roll right over to the other other red and possibly set up a, a double for the future. And Bump. Not a bad shot at all. No, nope. sounds like by the call they were actually playing the double there. Yeah, they were. You know, Kate can, uh, if Kate wants a roll, she's gonna uh, gonna give up that uh, red rock that's already in the rings because that yellow is gonna go back onto it. So she's got to hit it straight back, or uh, or even just a little bit, bit of a roll out. Again, playing the fifth end here, uh, Kate Cameron, Kate Cameron with the hammer. I think she would be okay with a blank. Keep that hammer playing the even end. This is really curling. Yeah, look, maybe a little light, and it did really take off. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was just a that was a weight challenge with weight. Looks like it did get far enough though to to lie too. Looks like Lisa's going to play the hit and roll in front of the other uh, red in order to get some positioning. Got to be careful here. Can't roll too far. If she's not uh, shot. Might very well see Kate just uh, ignore both of those yellow ones then and uh, try and try and tuck something in behind somewhere. Yeah, I think if you see her, if you do see her roll out, I think Kate will draw her around the center with the with the out turn. This is really curling. And it is. She's gonna get an inside roll. She jams on her back one. Yeah, so it did, did nose hit and rolled off a little bit, so. So Kate could play the same thing with a quieter weight and try and get to nose and, and lie three. <laughs> They've got last rock. If I'm if I'm Lisa, I'm not necessarily liking how this looks right now. No, that wasn't uh, wasn't ideal, and clearly, definitely, they were saying she was maybe a little down, so curled a little bit more than they were anticipating. So they're talking about this 10, 8, 9, 5, all of that type of thing. So for the, anybody that's watching this that maybe isn't a regular curler, what are they talking about? Uh, they're talking about the different weights that they're throwing. So. Um, the higher the weight, the, the ten five is a little bit lighter. And give it more control, and it'll curl more. So that's, that's the amount of time it takes for the rock to get from hog line to hog line, right? So exactly. And yes. where they let go of it to until uh, it gets to uh, get to the line that they're coming up to right now. Yep, that's exactly right. Nice oh, shot. There's a real good shot by Kate with a little bit of an inside roll. So. Lisa's electing to play the hit and roll to the back eight foot to hopefully get shot rock behind everything. Yeah, get rid of get rid of one red one and sit in front of the second one so that uh, Kate has a really hard time scoring two. Well, and if you if you make the roll perfect, you roll it right back eight right behind that one that Kate just threw, then it's you know it's maybe just a draw for one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And if it's like over curls, so we can play the double if it's decent. Yes, no, yes, no is always a good sound. Should be close, but... Great shot. And there is that roll right behind the one Kate just threw, so it's uh, gonna be a little, a little tougher. That's a really good shot. Well, she's got the angle raise for three, if she wants to take that risk. Or the straight draw for one. Or draw for one. What are you playing? Probably a draw for one. <coughs> oh, maybe not. I mean, risk reward. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You give up one, game's tied. You get three, six, two. Yeah, yeah. Huge, huge momentum if you uh, if you make this, you know. And going into the fifth end break, it's uh, could be a could be a dagger. Half's really close. Well, you know, when you, you always talk about like to have the uh, last rock on the end, even ends, right? So misses this, and it's a tie game. She's still got last rock for, uh, in theory, for uh, ends six, eight, and ten. Yeah, I, I like this call. You know, you make it; it's it's huge. Like you said, if it if it doesn't go your way, you give up one, three, three, go into the even end. Talk me into it. Needs a bit of curl. Yeah, it's really got a curl. It's hanging. Is she just going to paper it in there for one? No, not quite. Just a little thin, so it's a steal of one for Team Lisa McLeod to tie it up after five ends. And we'll take a quick break, and we will be back for the second half of the game. New at Asham, load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83, Manitoba's number one whiskey. Eat. Meet. Stay. Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at 1-888-33-CANAD or visit us right now at canadins.com. Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union building a brighter future together. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal, and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mvcurlmuseum. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Today's sponsor, Pharmasave, official pharmacy of Curl Manitoba. Why not? Just watch. Why not? Keep scrolling, eyes lie. Why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Not Auto Corp 
have been pioneers as well. Why not? Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab. Custom car wraps, graphics, and auto Why services. Not? Winnipeg. Why not get in the lab? Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. The kids and you know, even adults, they didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to a rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. We would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. Welcome back to the second half of this evening's draw between Kate Cameron and Lisa McLeod. So we got to watch five ends of really good curling and nothing's even close to being decided here, is it? Oh no, we got uh, we got lots of five more ends here to go and it, I think we're in for an exciting finish. Nice to have these. Yeah, so updating uh, over on sheet A, it's uh, Team Tarek with one in the fifth end to trail 5-3 to Team Cats. And over on sheet C, uh, Jolene Campbell picked up one to go up 6-1 after five. Uh, so that was a steal of one. So Tiffany Armstrong will carry the hammer playing the sixth end. So we've got a few, a few rocks go down the uh, end here. Go down the sheet, sorry. Yeah, I think uh, I didn't see the call on the first one there, but it slipped into, slipped into the rings uh, just biting the eight foot, so. Uh, I know was hit, and looks like we could be in for a, a clean end here. A little bit of back and forth, save some thinking time. Yeah, both teams uh, got lots of time left by the looks of it. Uh, both teams start with 36 minutes of thinking time. You know, one of the things I've heard heard uh, commentators talk about in uh, at nationals, for example, is the. Uh, the, the mental strain that it that uh, this this curling has on the skips you know they're curling a couple games a day and lots of lots of of uh, complicated ends get a little tiring yeah I could only imagine yeah you, you just play lead yeah I just play lead you exactly. just sweep yeah can handle getting yelled at oh for sure yep I've, I've definitely <laughs> done that in my life that's for sure you know again we know our rule carry the brooms and uh, throw rocks and sweep so a little miscue there by uh, Team McLeod. Uh, hit and roll out, so it gives uh, Cameron the chance to throw up a corner guard. Yeah, it looks like it might be a little heavy. It is. She's in the 12 foot. So Haley McCann will throw the right-handed in turn at this. Got to make sure and say that with uh, Ernie being a lefty here. You know, nothing wrong with lefties. I played with a couple lefties as well, and they can sure get that intern uh, carving or moving lots, especially in arena ice. Yeah, it's just like a natural curveball playing baseball. Good. 
Not that I was good enough in that either to get to anything like this. Still fun to play, though. Still fun to play. So that was executed. Taylor McDonald now. You know, so for some of the some of the skips, the the, the having to think through uh, some of the the uh, challenging ends gets a little uh, draining. Some of these sweepers are probably getting pretty tired by the end of the day too. Yeah, you look at uh, you look at the sweepers though, and you know. The, the training nowadays is a lot a uh, lot better than it used to be that's for sure you know lots of all these teams are working out and you know in the gym multiple times a week so um, you know as a sweeper you get you get used to that well and I I, uh, I can only imagine you know I you, you think you always think of uh, or I did when I was younger that uh, Young expectant mothers, you know, like you shouldn't be out on the ice like this. And nowadays, they curl uh, quite a ways into the pregnancy. So, you know, great for them. If they're that in that great a shape that they can do that, you know, that's that's pretty awesome. Yes, it sure is. I think there's a there's a few out here this week that are yeah. uh, soon to be expected mothers or. Which would definitely make it harder. That's for sure. I know I've seen a, a few families of uh, curlers around here, and the dads helping out uh, while the the ladies are on the ice. So you need the support of your family, or uh, it's kind of hard to do this kind of thing. Yep, that's exactly right. It's a pretty wide open end here, just running them up and down, as as you mentioned before, and both teams saving some some valuable time that may be needed later on when there's tougher decisions to be made. Oh, sit down. Spin back, I think it's touching. Those are annoying sometimes. Skip killers? <laughs> skips can trip over them, or not necessarily just skips, but anybody can trip over them when you don't see them over there. Hopefully none of the expectant mothers. Yes, we, do. we definitely do not need that. Hopefully nobody. But for sure, not them. So with that one sticking around, they've, uh, Kate's decided to play a freeze over there on it with uh, Megan Walters. First probably, rock. Probably the only chance of, uh, or good chance of getting getting to this end is by doing something like this. I don't think we've we've seen one going out to the wings here, have we? No, with not this, this far. With this right-handed sure. intern. No. It's okay. I I can accept the fact that uh, the minorities, the lefties, who are minorities, have to have to learn how to adjust. I well, I don't know. It seems like there's more and more lefties coming out of the. I don't want to say out of the woodwork, but there seems to be a lot more lefties than there used to be, that's for sure. I've, I've seen a few of them. This, uh, well, sorry, I shouldn't even say a few. I've seen the odd, the odd one, a couple here, I think. Um, but not a lot. So as we had kind of touched on before, um, both of these teams are very thankful for their sponsors. You can see their sponsors through all over their jerseys. Um, this allows them to, to play the game. You know, it's there's not, there's not a lot of money in it. So without the sponsorship money, this really allows the, the ladies to be able to come to events like this because it's, you know, you're a week away from work and you know, you got some hotels or accommodations that you, you're paying for, stuff like that. So it allows them to, to tour around and, you know, enjoy the game they love to play. Well, again, they just haven't uh, haven't been able to get it right out to the right out to the wing there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be curling as uh, as, as uh, much going that going from the inside out as it does the outside in. Yeah, it's still still got to make be careful with this.
So I think Kate still throws a tuck delivery. I haven't seen a ton of uh, others that do that out here. Yeah, there's there's a few, but again, you're right. I haven't, uh, haven't witnessed a lot of them, but the Manitoba tuck is that what they refer that, that to? That Manitoba tuck, yeah. You don't see that in uh, you don't see that from many other players around the world, unless they've moved there from Manitoba. That could be. Again, just a little bit of a hit and roll out there by Lisa. So they're cutting down the ice to, to get back out there. So we'll see if uh, Kate can lock this one right on the, freeze it right on there. One more chance. So it's good to see Kate Cameron back in Manitoba again. It is. You know, uh, some of you may recognize her. She was playing out of Alberta last year, actually with uh, with Taylor McDonald. So back uh, skipping here in her home province. Well, and uh, you know they've got they've, for this uh, this event they've they've asked uh, Mackenzie Zacharias if she would uh, be their fifth fifth player. Uh, Mackenzie had taken this year off uh, for competitive curling, and, um, and I'm sure she's kind of thrilled to be able to be here too because uh, it's a game that she loves. Oh, absolutely, and, and being from the local area as well, you know. Yep. Uh, so Kate uh, got that one a little bit closer, but it's still there, so corner, corner frozen on there, so see if Lisa can... She's got to be careful here, though. If she just a little inside roll, she could jam it and give Kate the hit for two. But I'm sure it'll be made exactly how she wants. Is that more? No. Okay, good. Got it, got it picked out. Still biting with that uh, rock that's been there for uh, half the end, so Kate's got to play appeal to blanket. Yeah, she, she can toss that though. Ah, yeah, yeah. Kate can, Kate can throw her pretty hard. So out, out turn peel, and as you can see, there's not a lot of ice there, so she's just got to hit it just off nose and. Hits the broom and throws the weight that she thinks to. It's just going to stay right there. Yeah. Pretty close. She's yeah, got she it. Got the outside quarter for the blank, so she's going to keep the hammer going into the seventh end. And we will be back in. Shortly. New at Asham. <coughs> Load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mbcurlmuseum. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. And we're back here in the seventh end with 
Haley McFarland throwing up the perfect center guard. It's just touching the it's touching the center line, so it cannot be ticked. Cannot be ticked off. I mean, oh, cannot be ticked off. Nice. You can. It's it, and that's one of the intricacies of that rule is you can actually tap it, but it still has to be touching the center line when it's stopped moving. Correct. Yeah. I was thinking more of the ticked off about you know kind of like being annoyed. Play on words. And just to update uh, sheet C here, um, we have Tiffany Armstrong picking up one um, up to you. in the sixth okay end to trail 6-2 uh, with Julian Campbell carrying the hammer playing the seventh end. And we're just awaiting the uh, score over on sheet A. As Team Cats has scored, but I'm just not sure how many they got. I looked over and there's quite a few red rocks, which Team Cats was. And uh, looks like she picked up two in order to lead 7-3. Here's a good shot. Yeah, a great, great sweep by the front end there to, to get that rock in position. Look how much that curled, though. I mean, it's it's uh, you can see it out the other side. Just like back button, sure. Same way. Same way. Throw the same way. Yeah. Frozen's fine. This camera's going back to this uh, intern that they've been playing uh, down this way the whole whole game. They've been playing a lot of shots down this intern's eye. You can tell which uh, which turn the skips are more comfortable with. They're running pretty true, so. Mackenzie Elias put her first one pretty much perfect, top button. And that was followed down by Haley McFarland, so. Mackenzie's got another good one here, right on top, so. I, it looks like we're going to have lots of rocks and play this, this end there, Ernie. Yep. Well, Cameron will be trying hard for her deuce, and Lisa McLeod to be looking for a, looking for a force to get that hammer back in the even ends. Hey, top eight! Always amazes me watching ends like this, where they stack them, stack four or five in a row with just a little little off one way or another, and then all of a sudden somebody throws one down there, and half of them disappear. Yeah, it's it's definitely a game of angles. That's for sure. If if you're not getting the rocks in the the proper positions, it, you know the ends can turn around in a hurry. So that one there, yeah, just a little bit heavy, as as they said. Um, you know, I think Kate's just gonna ignore it. It's playing the peel here. Just a straight peel. Lisa will just put that put that back and try and protect what's uh, what's going on in the button and the forefoot. Trying to set things up to make life difficult for Kate. Always nice if you can uh, either steal one or only or only give up one. So did you, ever, did you ever play on teams where you'd uh, be willing to give one up so you got the hammer the, the that even end? Getting close to the end of the game? Uh, yeah, there's definitely definitely times, you know, I think that depends on how, how the team's playing and, you know, momentum and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, there's sometimes you want to, for sure. It all comes down to that age-old question playing the last end. One up or one down with the hammer, which, uh, what would you like, right? right? One up without or one down with, so. I'm thinking we're probably going to see that coming into this. 
coming down to the 10th end on this game. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that's that's going to be tight. Megan Walter doing everything she can in order to get her by, but she's just going to tick. So you heard the call from Kate to tell her to get off it to make sure they did move the guard away uh, instead of just feathering it and leaving it there, which would have been not ideal. Yeah, that's having the sense to, to make that call too. You know, as much as you want to get around it, there comes a point where you realize it's, it's not going to happen. Then you got to make sure it gets out of the way. So, seeing another guard here from Team McLeod. Yeah, I think they're just going to try and replace this pretty much right on the right on the center line, maybe a touch off the center line and guard those three that are in the it's too early to make any moves there. This one looks like it's a little bit deeper though. Yeah, it's got a curl too to get past that one. Yeah, it's fast, just. And it is a little deeper. Coming right to it. Well, I have a feeling we're going to see some some rocks move with those lined up like that. I think so. Megan, Megan can also uh, throw it. Also another tucker. Throw it pretty hard. So. Look at this one, Curl. Hey, even, even with that weight, like, you almost wonder if she didn't uh, turn that one in a little bit with it, that much movement and yeah. throwing it as hard as she did. I think that might have been, uh, been what caused that. Because normally off the center line there, it's not going to move quite that much, I wouldn't think. Again, not that I've been able to watch a lot of curling today, but uh, haven't, uh, I don't think I've seen any, any rocks pick. So the uh, ice cleaners are doing a really good job of keeping that uh, keeping that white stuff nice and clean. Yeah. Always hate losing yeah. a shot when it's yeah. when it's <laughs> caused by uh, some debris that turns the rock almost sideways halfway down the sheet. Yes, unfortunately, we've always had them. We've had them for us, and we've had them against us too, right? So nobody. Nobody wants a, a game to turn on something like that or a bad, bad or good break, I guess, on that. You'd rather see it on good shots being yep. made. I agree. It's a well-positioned guard by Team McLeod. Going for the hit and roll. Probably going to lose uh, lose the red one that they're hitting, but uh, the shooter, you want to try and get close to what right now is the uh, yellow shot rock. Again, in turn, throwing it hard. Trying a little different. I wasn't. Uh, wasn't the exact call, but. Not terrible. The end result is not terrible. Still sitting first and third shot. Sorry, second and third shot. Didn't see that. But it is possibly grouped here. Uh, McLeod's. Doesn't really want to sit right there because if Kate can throw her hard enough and make that double and get in better position. So you see this this in more teams now. Actually, you have uh, Haley McFarland holding the broom for Lisa McLeod. Yeah, she throws these rocks but holds the broom. Yeah, you know, and it's it's. Um, that whole tra traditional, you know, the things have changed a lot in in the world of curling. You have uh, there's it's interesting the number of teams where the individual that calls the calls the game isn't necessarily the one that throws the last rocks either. Clean. 
kind of the first time we saw that was the Furby 4? Probably. You know, the, the ones that really showed that that, that that could work was, I would say, is the Furby team. So a, a nose hit there, so Kate's uh, first first call here is play the double. And if she executes this, sitting two behind the, the guards. Could be in really good shape to get her deuce. There is, there is a possibility of the jam back oh, yeah. here on the, the other yellow, but I don't think she's real worried about that. If, you know, if she can make it and kill the one that's in the full forefoot, she'll be sitting in pretty good shape. I would agree. Yeah, even if she jams that uh, that yellow onto that one that's in the back back 12-ish, it's not going to uh, it's not going to outscore the red that's up front that's in the top eight. I don't think so, anyway. Decided to just kill them all. Might as well get rid of the one in the right. back. Back twelve. So got the little inside roll. Um, so I think still a still a portion open. I would say half to three quarters open. I think I heard a few people cheering for that that shot. So there's a few uh, Kate Cameron fans in the audience tonight. Well, and from from what I've seen today, you know, like the, the crowd's very knowledgeable. They're they're acknowledging good shots with all the teams, right? So, um, uh, which is always nice to see. It is. You know, cheer, cheering the good shots and not cheering the bad shots. Yeah. You know, you don't get a lot of booing and curling. You shouldn't, that's for <laughs> sure. Because nobody's trying to miss, that's for sure. Okay, well then, close. That needs to curl. curl. Getting close. So Janelle is getting it to curl some for sure. But it will roll right out. So again, it will give uh, Kate the draw to the rings for her deuce. Looks like that blank of six is about to pay off. Yep. So this is the, the same path that she threw in the third end when she had her draw for two as well. So Good memory. Um, she she knows the line. Uh, she knows the weight. She put both those right on the forefoot. So I would expect the same thing here. Well, those sweepers, you know, these these uh, teams, they curl enough. they got a pretty good sense as soon as, maybe sometimes even before it's coming out of the hand, whether it's it's the right weight or not. Mine's fine. Four, six. Well, and, and Kate's had her draw weight all game. So. And here it is. Yep, yep, there you go. Right on the button again to uh, get her two and go up 5-3 heading to the eighth end. Today's sponsor, Pharmasave, official pharmacy of Crow, Manitoba. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. We hope you're enjoying this Manitoba Championship Curling, brought to you by Seagram's VO, integrity, tradition, and craftsmanship. From small towns to big cities, Chicken Chef is comfort food you can count on. We're your made in Manitoba chicken choice, and pizza choice, and salad choice, and so, so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Welcome back to the eighth end. 
Uh, just to give you a quick update here, over on sheet C, uh, Jolene Campbell scored a two, and uh, that is our first final for the night. Uh, an 8-2 victory, Jolene Campbell over Tiffany Armstrong. Sheet A, I'm not sure exactly how it ended up, but I think Yellow scored one for sure. So we'll wait to find out uh, what they put up for score and, and uh, up you update you on uh, on that game yet too. In the meantime, we got Kate Cameron up by two, playing the eighth end here. Team McLeod's got last rock. Cameron's team has thrown, uh, thrown the first one into the house, sitting in a good spot. May not last long though. No, you're going to see uh, Team McLeod now, especially uh, playing the eighth end. They're going to throw up the corner guard and try and get their uh, get their deuce, um, to tie this game up, and you know. Oh no, she's throwing a guard. Sorry, I didn't watch the call. I was just watching where the broom was. She threw me off. Well, and again, uh, she's had great weight. Nice tight corner guard. Uh, this time they went to the intern, so the opposite side is they have been going all game. Sometimes you got to try and mix it up and go that way. So Mackenzie Elias is uh, just going to throw up a center guard here and try and protect that one that's in the 8-foot. That is hanging pretty straight. But watch, yeah, but, it, watch it curl. Uh, I was going to say, right at the <laughs> right at the end here, there's, there's such late movement. Is uh, It's fun to watch. You, could, you can sure make a lot of shots. Well, and the whole uh, the whole science of curling has changed so much in the last uh, the last few years. You know, now we've got. Uh, Got restrictions in the uh, the cloth material that can be used on the on the the brush itself. Uh, but even with what they're able to use, you know, science science has shown that uh, you can actually sweep a rock to make it curl more. Who right. knew? We never did that. Nope. I I think most people swept it, and you know, if it curled great, if it didn't, then oh well. Um, just update over sheet A. Uh, team Zoe Tarek from the Heather Curling Club did pick up a score of two, so they are trail 7-5 heading to the eighth end with, with Team Cats uh, having the hammer. We've got a couple, couple corner guards here, and Team McLeod with one just wide open uh, over on the edge of the 12-foot. And with some solid brushing, they just uh, get by the guard and nose hit with me maybe a slight roll in. Slight roll in makes it just that much more more difficult to get out of there if they want to do that. It looks like they're they're doing what they need to do, and that's getting some rock and play maybe to uh, score a couple. Tendency is when you're down, you want to have uh, have rocks in play. Yeah, and they're they're ignoring that and throwing the the right-handed in turn around the corner guard. Threw it to the brushers, and it's just going to tick the guard. And just creep into the rings. I think we're going to see a yellow one aimed at here. Yeah, probably just a nose hit to control that uh, that front zone. Looks 
pretty no close to nosy. There it is. Yeah, so Team McLeod's going to ignore that and throw an intern, intern around the center guard, try and get one in there and uh, get uh, Team Camera to chase them. on it all the way to get by yelling top four foot so the weight is good it was just a line call which they did get by the guard and now it's got to slow down unfortunately with the sweeping it's going to be a little deeper than they would have liked but that's look good i believe it is still shot rock i think so not uh not where they wanted it but it does force uh megan walter to play that same shot and in turn in turn draw where she's hoping to keep it up in the, in the top four foot. By the guard in a little bit better position. Got that pin covered again. So is a is there a hole down the down the middle for all day, yeah. all day, yeah. Drive a truck through there. Oh yeah, yeah. B train. Perfect. <laughs> Let, let's see it. Looks like that's what they're going to try and do too. Yeah, I think. I would suspect it'll be close to normal hit weight to navigate that hole, but. Little up. Out turn, attempt through the hole. And Got a curl. Just gonna oh. tick the right-handed one. And That's fine. Yeah. Rubs the guard, so it is, it is open now. But we'll see for how long. Forty-five seconds or so, we'll know. Yeah. Maybe even less. Here she's throwing already, so we'll know in about twenty-three. <laughs> Ice has been really, really consistent. It's been, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen any runs. I haven't seen any, uh, any anybody complaining really about uh, how it's fluctuating in speeds. You know, when you've got a great, great sheet of ice, it's, uh, you know, you just got to make your shots. That's what I, it comes I, down to. That's all you got to do. Yeah, just make your shots, and the, there is a great shot. That, yep. Uh, just put, uh, just biting the top eight foot in what what we like to call a Christmas tree formation. No, that's not just a Morton saying. That's, a, that's a Pilot Mound people say that too, Absolutely. do they? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, gotta love the Christmas tree. Gotta love the Christmas tree, I agree. So, for those that don't know the Christmas tree terminology, each rock you can see a portion of. And uh, so now it really puts a pressure on Team McLeod here. But still, still a possibility for a hit and roll behind the corner guard. No, from the start of the start of the end. Looks like they're going after the guard, trying yeah. to open it up a little bit. Yeah, well, you're on your third's last rock with only two more to remaining after this, so it's uh, you know now's the time to go. I think they were hoping to hit it with the hit it a little thicker and still roll a shooter off and maybe uh, maybe hit a couple one or one or more of the other ones in the uh, in the house, but didn't quite curl up enough. Front is open for now. Yeah, Kate Kate's gonna attempt to put that guard back up, um, you know, and make things a little bit more difficult for Team McLeod here. Yeah. And with that red one sitting right on the pinhole, she's pretty tough to draw right now, there, Ernie. I've never seen it done, not without moving it. I've watched a lot of curling. 
Yep. Never seen it done. <laughs> no, it's pretty, pretty tough. Give it a chance, give it a chance. Whoa. They're splitting center. No, we've got a curl. So it may look like that uh, that rock out turn that Kate's throwing is, is way out there, but hog line in is where it really starts to curl here. So as you can see there, got it right to the center line. and Great shot. Nice location. So what do you call a backwards Christmas tree like that? I got nothing. Me either. Upside down? Zigzag. Zigzag, there you go, yeah. <laughs> well, I think, think you gotta play a run again and try and make a double on two of those. And you know, if you get lucky and push it off the button, opens it up. Are we there? Okay. You know, I, uh, there are times when I when I have played the the skip roll, and I always enjoyed it when uh, my my rocks were. Well, let's throw a guard. Let's throw a guard. Well, and that's that's what your team's responsibility is in front of you, right? Leave you leave you the the skips guard. You know, you've had a good end when that's uh, when that's what you're throwing when you're throwing seventh and eighth stone of your uh, of your team. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, so she made contact with all of them with a double double jam. So um, leaves Kate the same shot if she throws a perfect guard here, but it is off the button, off the pinhole, I should say. Still on the button quite a bit. But definitely a good good effort. Yeah, Kate's Kate's uh, Kate's team is likely relatively happy with that outcome. Get a good guard here, and it makes makes it really difficult for uh, Lisa to to score one. Well, you might almost want to even put this like full full twelve foot. Doesn't doesn't really need to be a guard. I think a little tighter yeah. is yep. is fine. It's a lot of red rocks in that house. Yeah, that was a well-placed rock by Kate Cameron. Um, so it forces Lisa McLeod to play the intern draw. And she needs uh, half to three quarters of the button in order to score her one here. Not an easy shot to make. Nope, and this is where you, you, know, you hope the sweepers know the speed of the path and Give them the proper information, right? Line's good, Jeff Line's fine. Line's Not good. Have a look. Hey, have a take a take a look, guys. Line's line's really good. So this is the side of the I sheet that Lisa's been playing curl. quite a bit and is quite familiar with. Ooh, needs to slow down a little too, I think. Looks like it's going to be a steal of one for Kate Cameron. Yeah, so that that steal of one will put Kate Cameron up 6-3, heading to the ninth end. 14-3. Yeah. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At McMunn & Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn & Yates has everything you need for your next project, right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Eat. Meat. Stay. 
10 at Inns Destination Centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Ken Ad Inns. Call today at 1-888-33-KEN-AD or visit us right now at KenAdInns.com. All right, we are back. Okay, Cameron has stolen the uh, was eighth end, so she's got a three-point lead. Leading six to three. Yeah, and with a three point lead, she's throwing her first one in the rings and forcing Team McLeod to throw a corner guard and really go hard for their deuce here. Yeah, I think Kate would have been happy if that one would have gotten to the into the four foot top four would have been perfect. Oh, for sure. But still, still better there than deep in the rings or or short even. If short of the rings would have been worse, right? Over on uh, sheet A, um, Team Cats picked up one to take an 8-5 lead heading to the ninth end. So three-point uh, separation there too. You know, you look at uh, some of the teams that are here, and and uh, there's there are some who this is the first time for them, and, and uh, you know the. Uh, the learning experience, you know, may not win this the first time around, but the learning experience that they, the opportunity they have to, just to be here certainly gives them uh, an advantage going forward in future years. Oh, absolutely. I think when, whenever you get a chance to play at a competition like this, um, it's just nothing but experience. You know, you, you know the teams that have been here multiple times and, you know, or even one at this level, and you see these other ones that yeah it's the first time and, and again like we said before don't take it for granted because you never know if you can ever make it back you know you always hope you can but it doesn't always work that way Felt like a little less. Hey, mine's good, all you. so Lisa throwing up the second uh, corner guard in order to generate some offense here and uh, then Kate will have a decision to make if she wants to throw up a center guard or if she's going to come right back into the rings again Kate's uh, signaled for the tap, just trying to tap that one that's half in the eight foot right to the four foot. Really putting pressure on. That's one of those challenges too, you know, you've got two cor great corner guards, but you can't let that center build up too much or you, you don't even have a chance to, uh, to use them. It's always a bit of a catch 22. Actually, that's a really good shot because it cut off the cut off the one corner guard, or almost cut off the one corner guard. Yeah. So Lisa, this early in the end, I don't think she wants to remove any of those rocks by Kate Cameron. She just wants to tap them back and keep them around because for some catchers for later, and hopefully that way she will be able to to generate at least a deuce and maybe even a lucky three. Yeah. Looks a little lighter than, uh, than the back 12. It's slowing down on them pretty quick. And over curling, wide open. Well, maybe not even quite wide open because it's rolled a little bit underneath that uh, that one's in the top 12. Pretty well wide open. Are you kind of surprised they're not peeling one of the corner guards here? Hmm. Yeah. 
you know it's yeah, that's probably probably a good call too i'm i'm not sure this isn't isn't um isn't okay yeah i, I don't think either neither option is a is a bad option and you know they're they're choosing to keep the pedal on the gas and make team mcleod make some some solid shots i think it's working it is but <laughs> kind of group those together so she can hit it more or less right on the nose and sit right in front of one and spread a couple uh, catchers back there so A lot of games. There's a. It seems that uh, there there comes this make or break end, and where you you just have to throw all the marbles, marbles into one uh, one jar and hope it comes out to your advantage. Hey, it's not bad. Yeah, that's no, a that's a really good shot. It is. So it's got a nice favorable roll behind that corner guard, and so now now Kate will peel one of the corners. Yeah, even though it's third shot, that yellow yellow stone is has got uh, Kate's attention. Just enough of it to to peel it out. Okay, let's use what we got in the house. What's the call? Sorry, roll bay. Okay, control. Okay, this should be gradual in the spot. Lisa's throwing her ten eights, ten fives here, so. Okay, you got it. Here's the stick. Gonna try and uh, remove a, remove the shot stone and then roll, roll off off to our right, behind that Control. guard. Yeah, roll exactly. Roll behind the behind, behind the red or the yellow corner guard. Just stick around uh, yeah. just for a catcher there. So yeah. just looking at the clocks here, both teams have just over seven minutes remaining uh, to finish this end in the next end. So they got lots of time. Uh, both teams also have both two timeouts remaining. So no clock issues here. I haven't seen any. Team. Haven't seen any of that. Uh, sorry about that. I haven't seen any of that uh, yesterday uh, during the curling today yet. But, so it's good. No, both both uh, teams have been fairly quick on their decision making and haven't been spending a lot of time trying to figure out uh, what to play or anything like that. I know I can think of a few people that would be challenged with the curling clock time. <laughs> yeah. Bring that Anything else play. you like? I don't really like hitting it yet. Like, so a couple of group stones here. Um, you know, they're t they're talking about hitting, or they're talking about possibly okay. freezing to it. I think probably the freeze yeah, freeze is the call if you're okay. if you're looking to get hey, your deuce. It's okay. you know if you if you hit and roll off, it's yeah. I think that like going to the gonna be a lot tougher. Still felt nice, and I was throwing my card, so <coughs> got it. We have a challenging, back floor. challenging situation here for for Lisa. Lisa's team. Back floor, back eight. Room still. <coughs> back floor. Oh, has to go. Wait, it's close. Close. Line <coughs> So didn't quite curl as much as uh, they would have liked to, um, and maybe a little heavy, but still not a bad position. Kate's still got to deal with it. Um, <coughs> looks like she's going to just try and pick it through the hole and, and roll out, which in this situation, she's lying three, it's a good situation for her. Yeah, I think the last thing you want is a whole bunch of rocks behind the T-line sitting there waiting to catch uh, catch some yellow stones. So. 
Yeah, and I think Kate will be throwing up or peel weight here in order to make sure in case she does tick her one at the back and just get rid of them. Turn hit for Kate. Good, 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 good. It's more or less a clean all the way down and quarter of a rock right through the hole. Ooh, almost, uh, almost ticked that out almost, of the rings. Almost got a big long double. Yeah. Not that she needs it now at this point at the end, but good for look for looks. Absolutely. Style points. That that Kate Cameron can throw these big doubles. One side of the house to the other. Okay. <laughs> nice when they turn out that way. But like you said, not necessary in this, uh, not in this really situation. not really anywhere else for us to hide. <laughs> yeah, trying to make the freeze. And... Okay. So okay. Lisa's going to play the, the freeze on the, the one in the full eight foot and uh, hope they can get a miss out of Kate with her last one. And... Okay, I thought you meant hog to hog. That makes more sense now. Okay. Kate's been curling really well. Yeah, the whole the whole Cameron team has been playing pretty solid, and I would say have kind of had control of the game for the whole game. Line's, line's a little tight. Yeah, it's really curling. Okay, hey, close line. Yep. You might have to corner the top. Yep. This might actually over curl. Yep, hard line. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna, yes, hard. Looks like it might bump it a little bit at least. The line's really fine. good. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. A, maybe a touch heavy. It just, okay. just overcurled just a little over bit. Curled, so but I think she might be shot. Same shot, I think, yeah. here for Kate Cameron. Yeah. Again, she's not, she's not too worried about sticking this, I don't think. Not at all. Make it go away, and then uh, Team McLeod's probably got to draw for one if there's... Uh, yeah, I... I don't think that that double's not there across the house nope. at the top, and so. Yeah. So McLeod, McLeod may have to draw for one, and then uh, try and steal two, and that's the way that uh, that Kate and, and team have been curling tonight. That's a tall order. A little tight out of her hand. The sweepers are on it right away, and Taylor McDonald uh, sweeping to keep it clean. Now rips it out of there, and she actually does stick the shooter to lie three. So definitely forces Lisa for the draw for one. Yeah, I agree. All good. I said in the hack, I'm like, well, okay, how close we can't get low, so I'm like, we gotta make it around the top. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, my head low. She's like, no, 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 no. That's good. Well, all right, yeah. Because we're coming into the center, and it was just back eight. Okay, should be good. Okay. Right on the button. It's going out, turn, draw. Full eight foot. Pretty good extension though. Okay. Okay, all you lines fine. Not moving yet though. Where? Sweepers aren't sweeping yet. Just starting to curl. Okay, yeah, starting to curl no, now, I guys. All you. Looks good. Lines. 14-5. Lines fine. Close. Good throw. And right, right on the button for. Uh, for one for Team Lisa McLeod to make it 6-4. Nice throw, 14-5. Heading to the 10th end. Yeah, I'd rather throw it that way, for sure. Okay. So Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union. Building a brighter future together.
If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. Kids and you know, even adults who didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to our rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. We would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. So the evening I... Welcome back to the 10th end here between our Kate Cameron and Lisa McLeod with uh, Kate Cameron being up 6-4 carrying the hammer to the 10th end. Uh, to give a quick update over on sheet A, it was uh, Zoe Tarek to get a, a 2 uh, to go to be down 8-7 playing the 10th end. So um, Katz will have the hammer playing that 10th end, throwing the red rocks. And so we got a ni nice guard on our sheet. Um, nice tight center guard by team Lisa McLeod. And of course it's uh, in that no touch zone, no tick zone. So Mackenzie Elias is throwing the intern draw around it. T, back four. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's staying pretty straight. Really got to move to get in behind that yellow one. And Kate's concerned about uh, being behind the T-line, which it's going to be. Yeah, that's one of those ones. It's like, you know what's going to be behind the T-line? Do you sweep it and try and get it right out? Or you just leave it and make them deal with it? Or Team McLeod's going to ignore it anyways, and they're going to throw a, a second center guard. On For sure. A higher one and try and generate their points that way. No. Both teams with over five minutes remaining in this Whoa, on their time clocks here okay. playing the last end. So again, and also but both with two timeouts. So well, tons stop. of time and no, just uh, ooh. no. Yeah, this one's sliding the maybe a little bit further than they would like, okay. but again, it's on the center line, so it can't be hit. But oh, really. Mackenzie Elias will attempt that in turn draw again and. Yeah, so maybe, we're, how well do you know this new rule? They they do get to hit those ones on the center line eventually, right? Yep. Yeah, it's still the, the five rock rule, so I would uh, definitely anticipate on Kate Cameron's next shot, they will be getting rid of those as quick as they can here. So and that makes it a little bit tougher with uh, Mackenzie coming up a little bit light and putting it right beside there. But. I just guard this. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to just try coming around on Janelle's, I think. Janelle's last one. Okay. The speed's very nice, just trust it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you hear the, hear the comments from the players talking about speed being very nice. Yeah, it seems like it's been stayed consistent the whole game and, you know, one. as you can tell by Curl then. the Whoa. players making Curl. most of their draws. You know, the ice makers, once it starts to get uh, close to zero or above zero, they start uh, Good. start having a little bit of concern. And not quite sure how, how warm it got today, but... Uh, well, it would have been thinking it was probably getting close to there this afternoon. Close to zero? Yeah. Ice has held up really good today, so... You know, they, they do a, ter a terrific job. They've got sensors in a few spots on the ice and they, they monitor those things uh, like uh, like it's their baby, because it is. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. They're making adjustments before, uh, almost before they realize that uh, they need to and keep this ice consistent for it for 10 ends is, is uh, it's artwork in itself. 
yeah, it's definitely no easy task, that's for sure. And, you know, sometimes you can get spots that run straighter or, you know, if it gets warmer or cooler, then they're constantly making those changes, right? So You can see a little bit of frost on the sides if you look from the from the end. Yeah, yeah it's usually right along the board, so it doesn't come into effect uh, too much. Shouldn't, but... Team McLeod going around the around the guards now. Is that yeah. the, the call Lines here? Or are they? Lines I didn't actually see yep. what they were. Yeah, they are. Um, but going the out turn now instead of uh, instead of the in turn that they threw. It's really moving. Start. So a little light and just racked on the guard, but makes the. Took away the angles for that double peel, but also set up some more. Still left it set up. Taylor McDonald throwing the out turn peel. Who set this back a little bit? Yeah, you're right. Uh, Ernie, she Ooh. slid down the center line and gave it a little toss back. And a little bit up. of a coming from the inside and throwing it out a little bit, and then it, it just, on this ice, you throw takeout weight, and it's not that forgiving. It doesn't come back that easy. Nope, that's exactly right. So, Janelle Locks uh, needs to take advantage here. Being down two and, you know, thirds. Uh, last rock. Uh, Pardon me, Janelle's first rock. Slow down. Line's pretty good, but again, just a little bit deeper than they would have liked, but it's a starting point. It's, it's in play. Yeah, I loved your throw. I thought you were very close. That's fine, Janelle. That's okay. Megan Walter uh, attempting the peel now. Oh! And she does make contact with the second one, but just pushes it in the reins. Yeah, needed to catch that a little thicker. And actually behind that, uh, that corner guard. A little bit of hope for Lisa. Yeah. So we get a timeout here by Team Lisa McLeod. Another guard? Well, sure. Yeah. But like, I have a theory. <laughs> okay. Right. So we'll listen in right. and see what they say. I like it because she's going to have a single peel and not a double peel. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't want her to remove two rocks. I want her to remove one. So I'm fine with it. She's going to peel this. And we and guard. We're sitting two and we just guard. Yeah, and she's got to make a good one. That's what I don't want to. Like, we'd be sitting three. If we would be we sitting make three. it. Yeah. yeah. Where do we even go to not? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I was well, wait okay. And sweat them out with the last two, but. Yeah, I, I think I think. I think I we want, need to stay as close to the center line as possible and kind of protect the back one. Yes, but I want Walter to do the single peel. I don't want to give her a double peel by throwing another guard right now. No, I'm Rather just thinking. Rather come in and guard it out. I, th I think if you go around the red, like you only want to be half buried. Sure, for sure. Because we want to stick yeah. close to the center. Because she'll peel yeah. and then yeah. we'll guard it better. Yeah. For yeah, sure. So stop it. Like it doesn't even need to be four foot. If it's anywhere no, just eight foot or anything. Eight. Yeah. Well, it needs to be buried or a little bit. It. Yeah. Like we gotta be. Yeah. Protect, like. But let's not try to overbury it. Okay. No, let's that's fair. Get it buried so they can't run. Because they're gonna peel them. and we can make a better. So we're going on the back ones and stuff here. We're gonna want to. Bring them into play. Okay. We're not short of time. No. No, we're good. Seconds here. Do we have another time out or no? I'll use it probably. One of your next. Oh. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah, I, just, like yeah, you're just tucking a, a corner under. Yeah. Yeah. Like here. Yeah. Okay. You got it. A little bit of that Christmas Honestly, tree. Honestly, even if you drop it top 12, it sounds like as that would be uh, that's what they're, they're aiming for. Sink, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of options. Yeah, we'll they talked about a few different things now. there, but it sounds like yeah, they, they decide on the draw and show them a piece of it. Yeah, 
I think so, because yeah, even if you're, yeah, because that one was like back eight, so we Some words of encouragement class. from Coach Lyle Hudson. You know, it's one of the dynamics of a team is they, you know, you can have um, maybe the four best curlers in the province, but if they don't get along, if there isn't that that sync, that uh, connection, they're not going to not going to do nearly as well as four four curlers. That sure, they're still good, but it's just they, it's, it's the way they work together, and you know that encouragement is is part of that. And most most teams at this level, they've they've got that dynamic where um, they're always supportive. You know, it's uh, we didn't lose the game because the skip made the, didn't make a shot. We lost the game because none of us none of us did per curl the perfect game. We none of us can point a finger. No, that's exactly right. So uh, that draw attempt a little bit light for Janelle there. So um, Kate wastes no time walking up to peel that. You know, being two up with the hammer. With, Megan's last one, playing, playing the peel, but she actually jammed it. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> still has access to the forefoot for with her last rock, depending on what all happens leading up to that. But was hoping to get rid of a little bit more of the granite out in front. Yeah, I'm I'm presuming that uh, Lisa's going to play the. Attempt the same thing that Janelle just did, the kind of Christmas tree it a little bit. Now the guards moved over a little bit more, so. So we want to be top But yeah, the forefoot's going to be wide open for Kate if uh, if she needs it, and she's had draw weight all game, so she's got to be thinking in her mind that hey, I'm I'm going to need to draw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think same idea as yours. So Lisa came down and she was just confirming with her sweepers that uh, the speed hasn't changed at all. Uh, sometimes later in the game when you're crossing center like this, it, it, it can change a little bit. Looking pretty good. Never curl, never curl. Straight. Always straight. Oh, then. Oh, no. Good. Good throw. Oh, sorry, Meg. Yeah, it's a really good shot. Fully, fully buried, uh, just about biting the forefoot, just above the T line. So I had to kind of slow down. Yeah. Yeah, all of that's important, too. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't love that now. You know, that, that rock slides two feet to further, and Kate's belt. coming down to Even if I'm here, probably draw in front of it. I still have the yeah, so time out for Kate this. Cameron here now. Um, it's that or we rip this, but I'm still drawing against three. You so know, just got to decide what she wants to do. It's and Barry. Like I said, you got to get in your head what you wants to do. So okay, but if we rip the guard, are we okay with that? That I'm. Yeah. Well, and sometimes this yeah. first shot is uh, doing something to make sure you got your your, your last rock that yeah. you Yeah, I'm just wondering if we preference. hit the guard, is it a good shot exactly. or not? Like, is it making mine harder or worse? Like, I always have the draw, then I have the draw both ways. Yep. Right now, I only have the draw this way. Okay, I'm fine with that. Because my first thought was this one, if we're not freezing. So that's the same outcome if I miss it. Okay. Yeah, I like playing for it. Okay. If we tick that, be careful because we might even get lucky, right? Like hit the guard yeah, as thin for as sure. we can for sure. Okay, I think we toss peel then. Yeah. And I think right there. Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, I don't think it's going to do much. I think it might fall a hair. I only have a quarter. Just a quick update over on sheet A uh, with Team Cats up 8-7. Team Tarek is about to throw her last rock, uh, currently lying one, and uh, looks like she's throwing a tight guard to possibly seal it off and hopefully force an extra end. Here on our feature sheet, Kate playing the playing the peel and 
I was going to say, I think there's some weight coming on this throw. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of speed. So just a straight right. peel. So she had in her mind that, you know, she knows she's going to be having, having to draw against uh, a minimum of three with her last one. Well, because that one has to count. Yeah. And then she'll play the side one. So yeah. do we want to put it here? Yeah, I don't mind that. Off the center? Right here? Yeah. Time out. Time, Lyle. Yeah. yeah. He. So time yeah. out again on our sheet. Uh, so Team McLeod calls yeah, their second and final timeout. So they got uh, a minute 46 so. remaining on the clock. So they still got lots of time. I, I guess I... See, the hair is hard to... If you and ever, whereas, like, uh, if it's edge, edge. Same thing. She's got three minutes and yeah. 33 seconds to throw no, her final she's, so got again, this. she's got lots of time. But if and John, end like top eight, top 12? So when you get into the situation, if you normally got a, one of the players is watching yeah, watching the, the clock and making yeah. sure that they don't run out of time? Like right now, yeah, and again, here, they got lots of time. Yeah, yeah I know. Got, well, okay, then we make her make that minute minute six, but Yeah, you want to make sure that... You know, they have lots of ample, ample yeah. time to do their regular pre-shot routine. And what? I don't mind her throwing it. Okay, but the so then that's here. Normally do. Yeah. They don't okay. want to be rushed yeah. throwing this. There's only a few people that like to be rushed throwing yeah. their okay. last rock through a game. Exactly. I think it's, that's I because think it's they've here. gotten used like, to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they usually make them pretty much 99% of the time, too. Okay. Yeah, I think full eight. My, that was my first I, yeah, yeah, you know, on TV, thought. I've seen the odd yeah. one that's gotten pretty close. I don't mind close, if it's on so this side. Just a couple of seconds left. Anybody in the particular seven? that come to mind? Oh, I can't remember who it was. But. And then does she play the double? Yeah. I think that would be uh, well, Mr. Kevin Cooey that usually has... Uh, yeah, we're, like you're right, Cooey. actually, yes. A couple of sure. seconds left when yeah. he throws his last yeah. rock. Yeah. So. yeah. I think if I was one of the sweepers, yeah. I'd be yeah. I'd, like, like, come on. Yeah. Come on, all right. Yeah. Where are you Over on sheet A, it looks like uh, Team Katz has a nose hit uh, for the win. Are they down to three curlers? Yeah, they are, yeah, they're just playing that's with that's three right. curlers here. Yeah. So okay, exactly. it is through a port uh, with an intern, and she just ticked the guard. So it looks like they will be going to an extra end. Just ignore that last throw. <laughs> so. And back on her feature sheet here. Is it 15, you think, still? Okay. So yeah, yeah, like Lisa's a 10, basically. in the hack with a okay. minute to go. Lots so, no, like of time. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I don't know anybody that has a pre pre shot routine that takes yeah. a minute. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to give it a chance to get there. Okay, top eight, full eight. So the call is uh, top eight foot near the center line to cut down that scoring area and make that uh, draw tougher for Kate Cameron. Pretty big kick. Okay, line's good. Some Where? reference to pick. I hope that's not the case. Where? Yeah, no kidding. Too critical a shot. Looks okay. Line's good. Well then, well, okay, well. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, off, off, off. Never. Let it sit. Right there, right there. Pretty, pretty good positioning. Okay. Six inches too yeah. deep. Can't, uh, can't hit and stick that rock and, uh, and score. All you. That's okay. Team Cameron's okay. going to use their final timeout here just to, uh, just to discuss I guess, I guess you can hit and stick on, on that one and only give up one yeah. and still win the game. Okay. Or sorry, the end. Okay. 10-5? Yep. You got her. Not a long discussion. Yeah, so it looks like uh, just that one. That one went just too far. So she's playing a nose hit and to give him one, and that would be enough for the victory. Nice clean release. Clean. Nice controlled weight. Yeah, she's not overthrowing this. She's throwing control weight to let the sweepers brush it. And it's curling. 
It is curling, but she's got lots of room to roll yeah. to. So that's good. And uh, hit and stick for the for the game. I get one yellow, so the final score will be six to five for Team Cameron over Team Lisa McLeod. Travis, thanks for being here. Thanks, Ernie. It was a pleasure. Asham, load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83, Manitoba's number one whiskey. Eat. Meet. Stay. Can-Ad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Can-Ad Inn's. Call today at one 33 can ad or visit us right now at canadins.com. Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union building a brighter future together. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, and so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal, and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mbcurlmuseum. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Today's sponsor, Pharmasave, official pharmacy of Curl Manitoba. <laughs> Why not? Just watch. Why not? Keep scrolling eyes lie. Why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Not Auto Corp have been pioneers as well. Why not? Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab. Custom car wraps, graphics, and auto Why services. Not? Winnipeg. Why not get in the lab? Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. The kids and you know even adults, they didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to our rink and coming out and 
skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. We would see upwards of 70 people coming and going, you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more.